Hello, and welcome to Novobi's Odoo Accounting Demo Series. Today I'm going to introduce a new feature in the Novobi US Accounting App, Write-Offs. This feature is commonly used in business, but not available in Odoo out of the box. So let's say that Novobi's customer Infotech owed us $2,500 for a sale of 100 computer cases. As time goes on, payment seems unlikely, so we decide to write off the amount. Let's go to the Accounting App and write off the invoice. I open the Sales menu and click Customer Invoices. I'll use the search bar to find the invoice I want by searching for Infotech in Partner. The second invoice has 272 aging days, so it makes sense to write it off. To write off this invoice, I'll click the Write Off button. Enter the write off amount and the reason, choose the Bad Debt account, and click Write Off. As a manager, I can click Validate to move it from the draft status to open. After I validate, I can apply the write off to any open invoices for this customer, but we'll show how to use that feature in another video. We can also check the journal entry created behind the scenes by going to the Other Info tab and clicking the Journal Entry Reference Number. The write-off feature should be accessible only to certain users. Access can be managed from the Settings app by going to the Access Rights tab for each user. I can access write-offs from the Sales menu. Here I can filter the list by taking advantage of Novobi's improvements, like the Amount Range Search or predefined filters. I can also create my own custom filter or use the Group By feature to organize the list, for example by status. I can also see a summary of all write-offs using a pivot table or a pie chart. This concludes today's topic. Thank you for watching.